He's the most prolific bomb destroyer the army has. A Royal Logistic Corps officer has set a record for defusing more IEDs in a six-month tour of Afghanistan than any other expert. He's now been awarded the Queen's Gallantry Medal. Forces news reporter Martin Lowe has been to meet Captain Wayne Owers. It's 3,000 miles from the bomb alleys of Afghanistan to this equipment depot in Oxfordshire. But distance doesn't dilute the memory of the dangers and the escapes. Captain Wayne Owers diffused more bombs in one tour than anyone else. 93 in six months, one every two days. How lucky was I? I think, I think everybody needs an element of luck when they're in Afghanistan. Um, the papers have said that I said I was, I'm alive because I was lucky. That's not quite true. That's not what I said. Um, everybody needs an element of luck is what I've said. The lonely walk to an unexploded bomb became familiar, the ultimate test of his ability. I enjoyed it thoroughly um, up until the point where we were, it became personal. My team were involved in a couple of explosions and some of my uh, close friends within the team um, lost limbs or, or, or certainly suffered some life-changing injuries. And then it started to leave a bitter taste in my mouth because, because it had become personal. Stop by! Boring! For Captain Owers, risking his life became a matter of routine. He'd often forgo protective clothing preferring instead to rely on his wits and courage. If I'm brutally honest as well, the, the EOD suit's a fantastic thing, but in 50 degrees heat, your core body temperature probably wouldn't survive that long. And so uh, even, if I could, even if I did take it out on the ground every time, I probably wouldn't have worn it. Would it save your life if the bomb exploded? It, not, if, not if you're on the device, I would doubt. He's to receive the Queen's Gallantry Medal. Of his 12-man team, five have now been honoured. Catastrophic injuries, loss of limbs... Um, my, 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 um, my bodyguard lost his right eye um, um, but all the, we brought all the team back all the team are alive good first aid m fantastic medical facilities in, in Helmand and the guys were sent back to UK and they're all alive today um, so I'm, I, I take comfort from that